If you have ever used Microsoft Word Shrink to Fit to bring a longer document into just one page so that it prints on a single page, you probably missed it in the last few versions of Microsoft Word. And that's because they've hidden it. So here is how to get it back. There's two ways. Number one, at the very top left of your Quick Access Toolbar, if you click the little drop down here, you can click More Commands. And under More Commands, you'll get the options to add more commands to the Quick Access Toolbar. So we're going to click under Choose Commands from All Commands. That gives you every possibility of a command button that you can create. And we're going to scroll down to the S's and look for Shrink to Fit. And here it is right here, Shrink One Page. So we're going to say Add That right over here to our toolbar, click OK, and now we've got a little button up here that allows you to do that. If you write a lot of letters, it'll come in very handy. And you can see lower left, page two of two, and now I'm going to hit the little button we just created, shrink to fit. Now it's one page. So that's a real quick way to do that. Very nice little feature. So if you'd rather add that to one of your tabs, like for example, maybe in this case, page layout, we want to add it here because this is an area where you can do your margins and so forth, we're going to go back to this drop-down arrow, click More Commands. This time we're going to choose Customize Ribbon. We're going to switch again from Popular Commands to All Commands. Find our Shrink to Fit, Shrink One Page. We want to add it to our page layout as an example. Unfortunately, Word will not let you put it in an existing group like for example, margins over here on the left is a group. So we have to create a new group for that particular tab. So I'm going to click New Group, and we can rename that new group and just call it, I'm just going to call it Shrink. Click OK. Now we have a new group. Now I can add my Shrink One page to that group, which is on the Page Layout tab. So I'm going to add it to the group. Click OK. And now you're going to see we have a new shrink page here. So let's undo our previous shrink. So now we have two pages again. Here's the second part of the first part of page two. Now if I click on my newly designed page layout tab, I have shrink one page. And there it is. So that's how to use the shrink to one page tool in Microsoft Word. Very, very handy, but they make you work for it to get it re-enabled on your newer versions of Microsoft Word.